So people, why aren't amateurs creating the shaft lean, the lag and the compression? Why are we seeing so many millions of people flipping, standing up, hitting fat shots, thin shots, not getting that great sound, that strike on the golf ball? In this video, we're going to break it down and have a look at some really, really interesting moves for everybody in there. Get this message across to people to understand the wrist alignments, how the hands are working. Guys, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. All right, let's get stuck into this video. A real eye opener for amateur players and how to really improve your all round ball striking. So people, right, that's a closed club face. Now if I add in shaft lean, now it's square. Right, now this is an important thing to notice here. Getting into impact with your shaft lean, getting better angles coming down. We need this club face in a great position on the way back and then we're able to get some shaft lean. Have a look at this, if I open that face, right? Now that would normally head out to the right, but if I flip it, now the face is square. And that right elbow's moved away from the side, and this is what we're seeing with a lot of people in and around impact, millions of people, because it's difficult to do. All right, so let's have a look at this backswing position. Understanding that when we're looking at great players, we'll see the club face position when they're taking the club away. We're gonna see this club head pointed at one o'clock on the way back and as they add in the lag it comes down and it'll be slightly behind the hands and the club face will be just slightly on this side of 12 o'clock now if i get the face toe up and then i come down you're going to see this happen and this is going to head out to the right so what do we do we flip it so so many players around the world are opening it up in the downswing or they're having issues they don't even know they're doing it so we need to get our hands and wrists in a much better position on the way back so people, all right, let's have a quick look at some evidence-based material, some evidence-based instruction. Before we move on to some great drills and feels, some things I dare say you haven't seen before. Now let's have a look at this pattern, this club head pattern of great players. And this is going to help you pick up your angles, your lag, your compression, and your speed. Rory McIlroy on the left, club head pointed up at one o'clock. Dodge came a great iron player from the Asian Tour. Now what's interesting, let's just move into the downswing. We'll see that the players will bring the club head in as they load and add in a bit of angle, which I'm going to show you coming up. They bring that club head behind the hands, in behind the hands. Dodge Kemmer bring that club head in behind the hands here. Now, what we're seeing now is the club head's in a slightly different position. And this is a really important pattern that great ball strikers have throughout the world. The closer you get to this position, the better you're going to hit it. And you can do this with your mobile phone. So what you're showing on worldclassgolf.com. People, this is a fact. This is the slot. This is the position. This is what we call P6 for the golf nerds out there. Right, let's get into some drills and some clear basic feels to help us get closer to this perfect position to propel the golf ball down the line. So guys, right, the torch drill, bear with me here. This is really, really interesting. Getting this right hand to set it up in the right position so that you can get some lag and some angles to help you with your compression and your speed coming down. Now, people, when we start to get this club face awareness, your hand and wrists working effectively at one o'clock here, getting this right hand point in the right direction is going to be essential when we start adding in angles now if you can imagine just bear with me for a second right if i'm standing in a room and that for me would be the back right hand corner for the room now when i swing back and i can shine this torch up into that back right hand corner i've got my wrist set up in a fantastic position it's basic it's clear it's simple it's a big strong picture that's what we need and not only does this help the club face control, but it also gets the plane of the club working perfectly. Now, don't forget your arms have weight. The club has weight. This keeps us in balance. Getting this right wrist to work back on itself effectively and shining it up into the back corner gets all different components and elements working together. It's such an important move, especially when you're looking at your pitch shots and your chip shots. Then we can start to add in some lag, some angles and get better ball striking. Now let's move on to a drill now where we can start to understand the concept of adding in angle, getting into impact, practicing this and starting to hit the ball much more effectively. So people, right now we've got the paintbrush, we've had the torch, we've got it all happening in this video, but it really does help us uh, visualise things better and create more awareness. Now if you can imagine if I had some paint here and I was painting a wall at one height, you can see how my wrist is here, how it's moving. It's almost like how a fish's tail moves when it swims. All right, so we have that right wrist moving back into flexion 
into impact got your shaft lean and then after impact moving back into extension and this move here is a really interesting one I'm going to show you a drill just in a second how you can get an understanding of practicing it but first off let's have a look at this in slow motion you've got to do your exercises in slow motion get a, an understanding firstly of how they move and that'll create more body awareness for you now if you can imagine if i was standing in a swimming pool and i've got the club around about the same height as say uh, the water that's at belly button height if you're with me right now what we're going to do is we'll do it nice and slowly is we swing back across the height of the water back into impact but we stop at impact and notice the club face that it's square. After impact, we're gonna have this lead wrist move into extension. This is an important part to notice that great ball strikers, when we're coming down, we've got our shaft lean, but after impact, we're seeing great players. So many of them move this lead wrist up into 45 degrees at times of extension or more. Now this is one side of the swing belongs to the other so that when you're getting your hands and wrists to move it has to be able to release to handle also some of that angle. You have to dump some of the lag in and around impact. We're not flipping it. Right, so let's have a look now at a great drill, how we can get in here and understand how we can practice this firstly. This is such a good move for your iron shots too, your wedge shots and getting great ball ground compression. Let's get stuck into this drill now. So guys, one of the things I love about this hack motion for my own game is I love to be able to shallow the club out down the bottom quite a bit. It just helps me hit the ball much better. And to do that, I like to get my lead wrist to move into a flex position. And you can hear the biofeedback, hear the sound. And I set it between minus five and minus 10, which means the lead wrist, when it's an extension, it's in a plus number, right? If it gets to zero, it's, it's you know pretty flat, but if it bows a little bit, it moves into a minus. And that's what I get the feedback. And you can use your mobile phone. You know, you got it on the screen in front of you. You use your iPad, you got a little stand like this. And you know, you can get in there and really feel where that club's coming down. And if I open up the face, it's gone. And then of course you can hit a shot and you got your feedback. Guys, if this is like, it's just a no-brainer. If you if you're working with evidence-based instruction and if you're, you're serious about improving your golf, this is just a great thing to do, hack motion. So guys, right, I've got a great drill here and we're also going to talk about some of the sensations and feels when we're using this drill with a golf club and without. When you're looking at three-quarter shots, half shots, pitching shots here, this is really where you pick up great feelings. Let's have a look at how we can use this first off with a golf club. Now, when we're swinging, what we're trying to do is moving through the swing firstly slowly back into impact. You're going to have more shaft lean than where you started. I'm exaggerating there a little bit. But when we're looking down at that club face, we want to make sure that club face is still square and not open. Head out to the right. Once again, we're just swinging back. Uh, having more shaft and you can probably see the change over there have a look really adding in some angle and you'll get a feeling there when i hit a shot just softly moving back just a half swing nice clean contact you might have see it so just keep the hands really really soft and you might see this movement move back adding in angle getting in the impact and you can see that when i add in sharply and I actually shorten the radius of the swing and that's why we're seeing professional golfers moving slightly down into impact a couple of inches or so to help accommodate that so you're going to throw away your angle sometimes when you're too staying too tall all right so once again moving in to the backswing down and into impact and you'll probably see here just a little bit of lag in the changeover Okay, and this is a great feeling once you've got your back swing in the right position. If you can see this move, right, when I'm, when I'm applying it without a golf club, you can see that I'm, I'm pushing down with this right palm. You see the angle that I'm adding here? And this is a great way to also shallow out your, the plane of the golf club. Once you start getting that into the latter part of the downswing, almost pushing that, pushing that palm down. And this is what helps us get it into that position, that zone where we all need to be. People, it's such an important part to get your hands on great information. Worldclassgolf.com has 1,300 videos. If you're looking for swing analyst videos, as I'm teaching people from all around the world, 
The video is the same as the YouTube video, send your swing through. I can become your coach if you're interested. We've got WhatsApp contact, we've got Zoom calls, Skype calls. There's different packages helping a lot of people. Invest in your golf game, it's important and it's not all in the YouTube jungle. Get a plan and practice really with a plan. Get on the path to playing some great golf. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up guys. Thanks a lot.